All right, if you've got a tired old plow truck like I have here, uh, and you've been looking for a replacement pump motor, you've probably found that the OEM uh, motor is three times the cost of an aftermarket, okay? So what I decided to do, rather than spend uh, $240 on this Fisher uh, motor, I decided to try one of these uh, DB Electric uh, motors that I bought on Amazon. This one's about $85. Um, and the reviews will state explicitly that, you know, oh, don't waste your money, buy the Fisher. Uh, but, you know, we're talking almost three times as much for the Fisher motor. And I'm not sure that this old truck's worth it. So, and I, I will say that I've used a couple of DB Electric uh, starter motors on uh, four wheelers and they've worked fine. And again, uh, from what I would have spent uh, buying a Polaris starter motor, I'm perfectly fine replacing a DB Electric uh, starter motor if I need to. So what we're going to do is I'm going to replace this. I'm probably not going to show the whole replacement. I do have a video, I'll link to it right here, uh, of removing the motor and doing some maintenance, cleaning the screen, uh, changing out the oil. Uh, and in that process, you'll see how to replace the motor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the motor and I'm going to check in with you uh, a couple of times over the winter just to let you know how it's working, all right? All right, let's see how this works out for us. Just two bolts to remove the motor plus the connection bolt for the positive. Now my motor is a single post, uh, but the DB Electric uh, motor I bought does have two posts, but I do not believe it's an isolated ground. Um, what I did was I bought this little jumper ground wire in case I needed it. I do not think I'm going to need it, uh, but I'll certainly let you know here at the end of the video if the motor I bought is a good replacement for the single post Fisher Minute Mount 1 uh, plow. What I'm doing here is just uh, obviously changing out the fluid. I'm going to clean the screen and uh, my drain plug is is basically stripped out. It's an Allen uh, female Allen bolt. So what I'll do is uh, take a rag and wipe down our, around the inside. Obviously you want to replace your gasket as well. All right, Let me go ahead and get this finished up then we'll test it out. All right, it's a perfect fit, um, and I did not need to utilize the ground post here, uh, but I certainly could because it's right there in the right spot. That's why I bought this one. Um, the other thing is, if you do have to buy a dual post and it's an isolated ground, you could buy a little jumper wire like this. So I'm going to link to this, the motor, a replacement screen uh, down below. Uh, let's just kind of give it a quick little run through here. So as far as uh, replacement uh, plow pump motors go, I would say this DB Electric is worth a shot. It's about a third of the cost of replacement Fisher uh, here locally. And I'm going to link to this motor as well as other uh, plow pump motors down below. Uh, but the DB Electric is definitely worth the, worth the money as far as holding up. Now will it, uh, will it last for as many years as the Fisher? I have no idea, but I'm not sure if this old truck's going to last that many years. Uh, it served me well. But uh, yeah, I'd give this one a shot. I'm happy with it. Uh, it basically has been going non-stop for the last two days. I, I plowed this entire driveway and uh, this road and three other yards. So, pretty good. Hey, thanks for watching. Give me that thumbs up if you found this video helpful. I didn't find many uh, videos on the DB Electric uh, plow pump motor, so I thought I'd make this video. But uh, certainly leave questions and comments down below. And thanks for watching and take care. Stay warm.